If you want to produce a great video, you'll need great sounding audio along with your picture. In this video, we'll show you how to make your own wind protection for lavaliers. When wind blows directly into the open sound ports of a microphone striking the diaphragm, the noise is irritating and can't be repaired during editing. Wind noise is generally not a problem when you're working indoors. Hiding the lavalier inside clothing also helps shield the mic. Outdoors though, a strong gust of wind could easily ruin an otherwise good take. Most lavaliers come packaged with small foam windscreens that you can slide over the body of the mic. Although you can use these when your mic is mounted on a tie bar mount outside of wardrobe, they are not a good choice if you need to rig labs inside of clothing. Moleskins or sticky triangles wrapped around the lavalier would most likely end up destroying that delicate piece of foam when the tape is removed, and constantly buying new windscreens can get expensive. You can, however, make your own wind protection from the foam tips found on electronic cleaning swabs or even makeup swabs. Make sure that the tips are made of shaped foam and not just wispy cotton. Pull the foam tip off of the wooden handle and then use a sharp knife to slice off the tapered bottom. Then remove the cotton stuffing if there is any. There you have it, an easy to make expendable foam windscreen that will only set you back a few cents if the tape ruins it. Don't like the color? Just grab a Sharpie permanent marker or artist pen and go at it. Make sure that it's a permanent marker and not a water-based color that might bleed if it gets moist. Sometimes, when foam windscreens are marble-shaped, they risk rubbing against clothing, even if mounted on a tie bar. These homemade windscreens being thinner profile are less likely to make contact. Once in a while, you may have to use a lavalier outdoors during heavy wind conditions. Begin with your foam swab windscreen. Then wrap a swaddling of porous cloth several times around the mic so that it begins to look like a mummy's thumb. You can use cheesecloth, soft first aid gauze, cut up t-shirts, even gun cleaning patches. To cap everything in place and to provide an additional level of wind protection that is a bit more visually acceptable, snip off the fingertip of an inexpensive unlined knit glove. You can find these unlined simple knit gloves at many stores. Look for children's or small women's sizes. They're usually available in a variety of colors in case you ever need to color coordinate. This now gives you three effective layers against wind noise. Foam, porous cloth, and a knit outer shell. Effectively a zeppelin for your lavalier. This easy trick will keep the wind out of your audio every time. In the video studio or on location, Audio Technica has you covered.